In this practice, I will guide you through chakra meditation. The first question you may have is, what is a chakra? Chakra literally means a wheel. In the context of yoga, it refers to the converging point of different energy channels in the body. And you can harness these different energy channels with consistent practice and building your awareness. There are seven major chakras and we will focus on them in this practice. To start, lie down on your back or take a comfortable seat with spine straight and neck relaxed. You can also sit on a chair. Extend your legs and keep them more than hips distance apart. Extend your arms and keep them more than shoulders distance apart. Concentrate on your breath. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your nose. Take a few more deep breaths. Feel every part of your body that is in contact with your yoga mat or ground or bed or chair. Feel the sensations through every point of contact. Now bring your attention to the lowest part of your spine and visualize a bright red light at the base of your spine. The first main chakra is located around this area. It is called the Mooladhara or the Root Chakra. This chakra represents your foundation, your connection to earth and is also referred to as the chakra of survival. If you are focused only on taking care of your survival needs like eating, drinking, clothing and sleeping, this chakra will be your dominant chakra. This chakra is important for all of us but you don't want to live your whole life stuck only in this chakra. As you inhale, imagine drawing in that bright red light, filling your first chakra, the base of your spine, with energy. As you exhale, visualize any tension or blockages in that area being released. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Now bring your attention to the area just below your navel, below your belly button, around your pubis bone. This is the area of sacral plexus or Swadhisthana chakra. This chakra is associated with the color orange and represents your emotions and sexuality. This is also referred to as the chakra of worldly pleasures or the chakra of pleasure and leisure. If you are a pleasure seeker, this chakra will be your dominant chakra. And you may be happy in the short term, but in the long term, this may not give you the true joy and happiness. Repeat the process of inhaling the bright orange light and exhaling any tension or blockages. Take another deep breath in and out. Bring your attention to the area just above your belly button. This is the area of Manipura Chakra or the Solar Plexus. This chakra is associated with the color yellow, the color of the sun, and relates to self-esteem, creation, warrior energy, and the power of transformation. If this chakra is strong or dominant, you may be good at creating materials or things that are useful for others helping transform yourself as well as others. Take a deep breath in and out. Now bring your attention to your heart center. This is the area of Anahata Chakra or the heart chakra. Anahata means unstruck sound or unbeaten sound. Anahata Chakra is associated with the color green and represents your sensitivity and perception to everything and everyone around you. If this chakra is dominant, you may be strong in arts, for example painting, music, singing, acting, anything that demands being sensitive and perceptive to the environment within and outside you. Take a deep breath in and out. Now bring your attention to the pit of your throat. 
दिस इज द एरिया ऑफ द थ्रोट चाक्रा और द विशुद्धा चाक्रा विशुद्धा चाक्रा इज एसोसिएटेड विद द कलर ब्लू एंड इज नोन एज द प्योरिफिकेशन सेंटर एंड रेप्रजेंट सेल्फ एक्सप्रेशन वेन दिस चाक्रा इज ओपन नेगेटिव इमोशंस आर प्योरिफाइड बिफोर द पॉइजन योर होल सिस्टम and they are channeled into enhancing your wisdom and life experience take a deep breath in and out. now bring your attention to the area between your eyebrows on the lower part of your forehead this is the area of the anya chakra or the famous third eye chakra and is associated with the color indigo there is no third eye physically speaking if this chakra is active your perception of every part of your life will be enhanced or you will be realized or you will have enhanced clarity about everything realization doesn't mean anything special it just means that you experience the world as it really exists without adding layers and layers of assumptions of your own take a deep breath in and up the seventh major chakra is the sesrara chakra which doesn't have a physical location on your body it is expressed like a halo or aura around the crown of your head this chakra is associated with the color violet and relates to the awareness of you as a human being awareness of being conscious awareness of the ultimate human intelligence intelligence about how to achieve the full potential of being an evolved and caring human being and realizing how you are different from other beings on this planet what makes a human being different take a deep breath in and up Everyone's experience with chakra meditation may be different and it may take time to fully feel the effects. Each one of us have a unique combination of expressions of different chakras. With consistent awareness and practice, you can create your own mixture or combination or cocktail of the different chakras and reach your own best potential and have a life experience that gives you true inner joy. and also the capacity and capability to add joy to everyone around you you can create an environment outside the way you want it and to enhance your own life experience and the life experience of everyone around you take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose You may remain in this state for as long as you like, allowing yourself to continue to breathe deeply and release any tension or blockages as you focus on each chakra. This practice can be intense and if possible, please keep your eyes closed for a few more minutes and please do not communicate with anyone for a few minutes after the practice is over. the best in me bows down to the best in you namaste